On this channel, I have covered strange, shocking and outright disturbing deaths, but after coming across this case from 2008, I think it tops the pile. So on to today's topic, how far would you go to make a statement? I guarantee it wasn't as far as this man's, which according to Winchester's deputy coroner, was the most odd case he has dealt with in his 15 years on the job. Mr. File, who had a history of mental illness, epilepsy and mobility issues, had rented his apartment on Bodmin Road in Eastleigh from Atlantic Housing for a number of years when he was asked to vacate his property. Atlantic received planning clearance from Eastleigh Borough Council to demolish and rebuild the homes in 2006, with the support of the majority of its residents. Mr. File spent two years trying to stay in his ground level property despite first declaring he supported their intentions to bulldoze the decrepit development. Despite having constantly complained about his living conditions, he rejected 11 offers of alternative housing from Atlantic and other social landlords. While other residents chose to move out to better homes, he was the only one left in the building. In June 2008, Atlantic obtained a court possession order for the flat due to him not leaving. This meant that he had to vacate the premises. John was upset and angry and knew at this point he had lost. They were going to bulldoze the homes with or without his consent. So John came up with a horrific, tragic plan. Two weeks after obtaining the court order, police were called to the property by his elderly parents who claimed he hadn't come round for their weekly visit. He did this every week without fail. What police found next shocked them to the core. Officers broke in and discovered the walls were covered in blood, also the floors. They then found Fyle's partially decapitated body in the lounge. Fyle, who had been drinking, strapped the chainsaw to a pool table and set a timer on it. He then proceeded to chainsaw his own head off. According to the court, David Fire went to horrific lengths to end his life in order to make a statement about what he perceived to be unjust treatment by his housing association and landlords. Atlantic Housing stated that we offered him full assistance in planning for his move, including arranging removal companies, assisting with packing and removing ourselves, as well as giving him independent support. The coroner went on to state, his behaviour does not in any sense reflect the careful handling of his situation by his landlords. It seems to me his intention was to cause maximum impact and he was making a clear statement. He succeeded in doing so.